Hey guys, it's Izzy and today we are going to be making a key lime pie for one of my clients. If you don't know, I have my own baking business called Izzy Street for your sweet and savory needs. And I have an Instagram for it. And if you want that, it is in the description box below. So go check that out after you watch this video. But let's get into making this pie. Um, it's a no-bake pie. I'm not going to tell you exactly how I make it, but I'll tell you the ingredients. So I'm going to be using one can of sweetened condensed milk, um, lime juice, lime juice, and heavy whipping cream. Uh, I think that's actually it. So yeah, let's get into it. So, right now, I'm going to make the filling, and yeah, so I'm just going to get started. Oh, I, well, my mom bought me a KitchenAid stand mixer. It's so pretty. This. Look at this. It's beautiful. But yeah, she bought me a stand mixer. Well, she bought a stand mixer. I just use it a lot because I bake. So, yeah, I'm going to get started. I'm going to put the heavy whipping cream in the stand mixer and beat it until there is stiff peaks. So that's what you guys are going to so see. So I'm going to pour out a cup of heavy whipping cream and put it in the stand mixer. And Until it gets nice and big and fluffy. So I'm gonna turn on the. If the stand makes it was plugged in, it would work. Dum -dum. I'm gonna plug in the stand mixer. Step and Then I'm going to lift up the bowl, put it on. So now that I'm done with the heavy whipping cream, I'm going to take it out the bowl and get a spatula so that I can do that. So, I'm back with my tasty spatula. It's not I it's from Tasty. From my tasty spatula and I'm going to put the heavy whipping cream into my other bowl. And that's that. And now I'm going to put the cream cheese in. Yeah, that's the thing I forgot. I'm going to put cream cheese in it. And then I'm going to beat that until it's nice and soft. And then I'm going to put the condensed milk in it. And yeah, I'll come back when the cream cheese is nice and beat. I'm actually using cold cream cheese because it's going to be cold anyway because it's a no bake and um, yeah I want it to be firm instead of you know watery but yeah I'm going to put the cream cheese in it and then I'm going to beat that or well, whip it and then I'll come back. So the uh, cream cheese and condensed milk are now done so I'm going to get one cup of lime juice and put that into it also. Sorry you guys, I gave you the wrong uh, amount of lime juice to put in it. I meant half a cup, not one cup. Do not put one cup of lime juice into your key lime pie because then it would be too watery and it would be key lime juice and that's gross so yeah I'm going to mix it and come back so 
I moved to the counter area where you guys saw my baking a cake for 2020 video. I regret that. But uh, yeah, so I moved and now I have the condensed milk and the lime juice and all of that. And over here and here I have the whipped cream. So now I'm going to mix them. Also, I'm sorry that I haven't been uploading as much that I was before because I have my summer, well, I had my summer project thing to do, but now as you can see, I have time on my hands, so I'm uploading. But yeah, sorry for not being present. Let me know when you guys' school starts or if you're excited for school, which half of you guys probably are not. Because for some reason, kids these days don't like school. But I love school. I love learning and being educated. Because being educated is the best power in the world. Except for, you know, reading minds and teleportation. But those aren't really real now, are they? So I have mixed in the cream, I mean, the whipped cream and it's all mixed in now so i'm going to get some limes to get lime zest and mix it in there also because lime zest oh beautiful bon appetit so i got my lime and i got my grater so now i'm just going to grate this whole thing first you want to take the sticker off because guess what nobody wants zest and sticker so I'm going to zest it I don't know how much this is but I'm just zesting so I'm gonna mix it up you want to go back and forth and you don't want to get the white part in it you just want the green because that white part does not taste good and you want fresh lime zest because the best type of lime zest that you can possibly yeah, I'm done zesting. I'm going to mix up the zest. You guys can't even see it, but that doesn't matter. So I'm going to mix up the zest. And yeah. Oh, this smells beautiful. I actually love this. I will be posting pictures of this pie on my baking Instagram which I told you guys is in the description box below and you know if you want that go get it but I might put it on the screen too maybe so now that I'm done mixing the lime zest into the mixture I'm going to set this down and start on the crust. I'm going to melt my butter um, you want to use unsalted butter because that's gross um, if you use salted but I'm going to use this unsalted sweet cream butter and mix like two I don't know tablespoons into the, the graham crackers so yeah I'm gonna do that now if you're making this with me you can change how much butter that you want but I'm using enough butter so that the crust at the bottom is firm instead of crumbly but it all depends on how crumbly you want the crust or your base to be so I'm gonna use half a stick of butter and it's one of the large sticks not the small tiny ones the small tiny ones are half a stick but you could use those if you don't want to cut a stick of butter in half but I'm using half a stick of butter and I'm going to melt it all the way because you don't want any lumps to make your crust like not the same consistency. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go melt it and mix it into the crust mix. So I finished mixing in the um, crumbs and the butter. So here's the base and now I'm going to pour in my nice beautiful smelling batter over here into the crust so yeah
So right here, I'm just pouring the key lime pie batter into the crust that I made. And yeah, it looks really good. So I just wanted to show you guys a different angle of it. But this is what I'm seeing when I'm pouring it in. So like a bird's eye view. It looks pretty good, doesn't it? I know. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> but it does look good. It looks so good. But yeah, that's what this part is. So I'll let you enjoy it now. So hope you guys enjoyed that little very beautiful bit um but yeah i poured the batter into the pan and now i'm going to put it in the fridge and let it set and i will come back when i make my next thing well when i get ready to make my next um Thing. so yeah oh I'm making they also ordered a um, my signature three berry custard pie um, with vegan custard yeah vegan you heard that right vegan custard and oh i've tried it because you can't not try what you sell but i've tried it <sighs> it's just it fills my heart with joy every time but i'm gonna let this sit in the fridge and i will come back when i have all my ingredients and all my stuff ready for my pie i'm making the tartlets the small ones um yeah i'm gonna come back when i'm making those hello i'm back yeah so i have all my stuff ready um i lined six of the cupcake tins which i'm using to make the mini tart things tartlets so yeah i'm here and i'm ready to make it so i'm not going to tell you guys exactly what i use because it's my recipe so yeah i'm gonna put my eggs in i'm gonna tell you all the basics i'm gonna put my eggs in um so yeah i the recipe is like on my screen so if i'm staring at y'all weirdly you know what so okay okay put my eggs in and my sugar in so now I'm just going to whisk them so now that I've mixed up my eggs and my sugar I have my milk and a little bit of the sugar on the stove and I have my berries on the stove also so I'm going to be back when the custard part is well when I'm ready to put my custard into my pans well my cupcake things so yeah I'll be back so my fruits were done because they were frozen because so my fruits are done um, heating on the stove so now I'm going to use this beautiful thing to uh, 
crush them up kind of so yeah i'm gonna go do that now that my um milk and stuff is done um i'm going to put my egg mixture um well i'm gonna get the milk and pour some into the eggs I'm going to pour it and then put this back and then you want to do this very quickly because you cook your eggs. So you don't want to pour it all in because you're just tempering it. So now that I've tempered it. I'm going to pour it back into the pot and whisk it non-stop because I do not want it to cook all of the eggs and have scrambled separated eggs. That's, you don't want that. So I'm going to go pour this into the milk and when I'm done making it fully, I will come back. So yeah, I'm going to go so, do that. As my eggs and my milk are on a low heat on the stove because I'm not over there. Um, I'm going to cut up half a stick of butter into slices or cubes or whatever you want to call it. But yeah, I'm going to slice them and then I'm going to add it into the milk and eggs. You want to do it in slices so that your butter doesn't make... well well so that it cooks all the way instead of just having big lumps of butter in your custard you don't want that because then when you're eating the custard it'll be gross because you're eating lumps of butter so now i'm going to go put this butter that i've cut up into the eggs and the milk so now that the custard is done i'm going to make the crust for these little tartlets and I'm gonna go crush up the graham crackers and stop my stove so I didn't pour them into the cups yet because I have to make the crust for them which I'm going to do right now so they are in pans and I am going to cover the custard so that it doesn't get a skin on top and make people sick. If you do not cover it, you will look, make people sick and you don't want that. That's bad rep. And you don't want sick people in your restaurant in the first place. So I'm going to cover it now uh, with plastic wrap and then I'm going to put it in the fridge to let it cool. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So now that I have put the graham cracker mixture into the separate cups, I have a glove on because you're not supposed to touch food items with your bare hands. So I have a glove on and I'm going to pack them into the cupcake liners so that it's actually a crust instead of it just being, you know, crumbly because that's, you don't want that because it's supposed to be a crust and it's not supposed to fall apart unless you want it to. So I have my glove on and I am placing them and putting them into the cups. I also use the glove for the pie, the key lime pie. So yeah, that's what I'm doing now. I use the other half of butter from the custard. I use that to make it. So in this whole thing, we only use two sticks of butter. I made a key lime pie and I made Izzy's Treats Signature Tartlets. So, I have packed them all into the cupcake liners and now I am going to wait for the custard to cool and I, yeah, I'm just going to wait for the custard to cool. So, 
I'll be back. So now that everything is cooled and ready to be assembled, I have the crust and the jelly. Well, not jelly, but I have the crust, the berries, and the custard. So first I'm going to put the custard in. put it right on top I'm gonna put one spoonful so that it doesn't overflow when I put the berries on it put one spoonful you know what let's just do one and a half so one and a half because one was way too little so I'm going to do one and a half spoonfuls in each of them Also, you could use like a piping bag, but I don't get that bad. I do have piping bags, but they're kind of hard. So I'm not going to. But I'm going to use one eighth of a cup or 30 milliliters of the berry sauce that I have created. And I'm going to put that on top of the custard. Just enough to cover it. Oh, they're so beautiful. And these are cooled so because you don't want to do it when it's hot because then it will like it's much harder to control and you want full control when you're doing this because you don't want to spill everything everywhere and you want everything to look nice and neat in the end I do have leftover berry syrup and custard, so I'm going to make some and yeah, I'm, well I'm going to use the rest of it because you don't want anything to go to waste because it's all delicious stuff. So yeah, I'm going to, well, these are the finished products. I'm going to make extras just in case these don't uh, turn out right, well, they look pretty fine but I'm gonna make extras and I'm gonna choose the ones that look perfect to give to my customer so this is the end result of the key lime pie okay am I wrong this looks so beautiful I would eat this myself oh it's beautiful I didn't put the whipped cream on it yet because um, I didn't want it to flatten and, you know, melt all over the pie. So, yeah, that's the end result. Um, hope you guys like this video. As I was saying, hope you guys like this video. And if you did, please don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel to see when I post new videos. And while you're at it, why don't you hit that notification bell? But, yeah, see you guys in the next one. Bye. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. Y'all can't even see it. <laughs> it's beautiful. Bye.